Queen Elizabeth is, reportedly, delighted that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are moving to the U.S. and leaving the royal family for good. The Queen watched the tell-all documentary of the couple and was reportedly shocked by some of their claims. Rumors have been swirling around that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are moving to the U.S. to have their second base there. While the couple has yet to confirm the rumor, Prince Harry and Meghan admitted in their recent Thai TV documentary that they have been having a hard time dealing with all the bad press about them. Meghan also admitted that life has been lonely since she married into the royal family. According to a high-level palace courtier, Queen Elizabeth immediately called in the Duke and Duchess of Sussex after watching the documentary. During their private meeting, the Queen confronted the couple about their false claims and asked them to keep their personal issues to themselves next time. She called the couple to her private quarters immediately after the documentary aired, the source said. In a shocking showdown, she told them to get a grip and stop claiming they'd single-handedly modernize the monarchy. She told Meghan it might be okay to be so open in hippy-dippy Hollywood, but royals keep their private feelings just that, private, it added. The Queen was, reportedly, particularly outraged by the fact that they spilled their guts like no other royal has done before. The Queen, allegedly, perceived Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as whiners and hypocrites, worse than Princess Diana who also graced a tell-all interview in 1995 to expose Prince Charles' illicit affair with Camilla Parker Bowles. The source revealed that, despite Queen Elizabeth's cement love for her grandson, Prince Harry, she could not afford to be just too forgiving. Her Majesty called their bluff. The source said. She told them that she was delighted with their decision and couldn't wait for them to leave. Queen Elizabeth, reportedly, exploded all the more when Prince Harry and Meghan Markle dug their heels in instead of begging her forgiveness. After the confrontation, the royal couple, reportedly, insisted they wanted out of the royal fishbowl and demanded a six-week break from their royal duties to chill and see what the U.S. has to offer them. Prince Harry and his renegade wife, Meghan, threw a tantrum and reportedly threatened to quit the royal family during a bitter confrontation with the Queen, insiders said. But if the pair were hoping the 93-year-old monarch would beg them to stay, they were flat out wrong, RadarOnline.com has learned. Her Majesty called their bluff. She told them that she was delighted with their decision and couldn't wait for them to leave, a high-level palace courtier told Radar. But that wasn't the Queen's only payback for the divisive couple who committed the cardinal sin of dissing royal life in public. The source claims she stripped them of their royal titles, their newly renovated home, Frogmore Cottage, and about $15 million in financial support. As Radar previously reported, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex horrified the Queen and senior royals by giving emotionally raw interviews for the TV documentary Harry and Meghan, an African journey during their official visit there with six-month-old Darcy in September and Meghan complaining about nobody ever asking if she was okay was nothing but a bad acting job by the former Suits star, said sources. They spilled their guts like no royal since Princess Diane is shocking, there were three of us in this marriage, TV interview in 1995 about Prince Charles is cheating with Camilla Parker Bowles, noted a senior palace source. But they came across as paranoid whiners and psychologically unhinged hypocrites, and Her Majesty was outraged. She called the couple to her private quarters immediately after the documentary aired, continued the senior palace source. In a shocking showdown, she told them to get a grip and stop claiming they'd single-handedly modernize the monarchy. She told Meghan it might be okay to be so open in hippy-dippy Hollywood, but royals keep their private feelings just that, private.